Calgary, a provincial grant program has given $850,000 this year to support dozens of women's initiatives related to entrepreneurship, leadership, and advocacy. The status of women community grants started in 2017 gave up to $50,000 to 32 different projects run by non-profit organizations across Alberta. Grant money is intended to either start or maintain programs aimed at improving the lives of women. MLA Annie McKittrick Future Business Owner Nadi Faoma and Status of Women Minister Danielle Larravee enjoy Oma's catering selection at a news conference Tuesday, Government of Alberta. We are doing this because we know when women succeed, families succeed, as do their communities, and Alberta succeeds, said Danielle Larravee, Minister of Status of Women, at a press conference on Tuesday. The 32 projects we've announced today will help women get good jobs and training, increase the number of women in leadership roles, and help prevent violence against women and girls. One of these programs, the Women's Center of Calgary, received nearly $30,000 to develop and pilot a leadership program for adult women. Susan Gillies, the center's executive director, said they wouldn't have been able to start it without the grant, we wouldn't have enough staff time available to pilot them, she said. We are a pretty small staffed organization, so if we want to start something new, we have to find new resources. Article continued below the funds will also ensure part-time staff at the center can be paid the extra hours they'll need to run the program. Gilly said the funding is a relief to women's organizations in the province. Alberta was a long time behind getting any status of women funding, so it's been very nice to have those small amounts available, she said. Another initiative which secured funding stride advocacy, currently helps marginalized and poor Edmontonians navigate institutions like social services, housing, and the court system. But the John Humphrey Center for Peace and Human Rights, which runs stride, will be able to expand it to Calgary, Lethbridge and Street. All thanks to government support, our hope is that the government of Alberta will see the value in this important work and equip us with further capacity and resources to ensure that Stride is able to reach across the province via space for women to come together and strengthen the essence of their community, and address issues of sexual exploitation, poverty, and isolation, said Tisha Raj, Projects and Communications Coordinator with the John Humphrey Center. The status of women grants are also focused at bringing more women into entrepreneurship. Yvonne Chu, a member of the Multicultural Health Brokers Cooperative, which provides health and social supports for newcomers to Edmonton, said it's starting a partnership with the University of Alberta and several local business people to bring more women into entrepreneurship. We're looking to build lots of relationships and help make visible our women's talents and hopefully help them generate some income, said Chu. The cooperative has received $50,000 from the grant. Article continued Bella Minister Larravee said a third round of status of women grants will be announced in the coming weeks, although she didn't give any details. Gilly said that she'll look over the guidelines when they're released, if that's a good fit we'll certainly apply, Gilly said. Brennan Doherty is a work and wealth reporter with Star Metro Calgary. Follow him on Twitter, at Bren underscore Doherty.